Okay, welcome to Say Ho here at Productronica. Uh, delighted to be joined by Dr. Ronnie Horn. Great to see you again, Ronnie. Great to see you again. Yeah, good. So, we're standing in front of the Select Line C, uh, which uh, you won a Global Technology Award for, so congratulations for that. Um, but the reason you won is because of the ultimate flexibility of this system. Uh, yes. It's got a couple, it's got twin pots in here that we can see, but they're totally autonomous. Absolutely. Uh, Each pot has its own access system, yeah. and these two pots can do different solder jobs, lead or lead free. They can operate the same alloy with uh, different nozzle sizes, mm -hmm. or they can share a job to accelerate the throughput. So we are completely free to let them to work whatever the software tells them. Right. Smart split. Yeah, yeah, very smart. And I believe that the, the configuration you've got here can be extended to, to uh, cope for bigger boards and, Absolutely, and this, yes. this type of thing. We can stretch that machine almost to infinity. Um, more of these modules, more pots, more functionalities on these axes could be an, a brush, an AOI system, uh, more preheaters between solder uh, stations. So we're completely free to configure, let's say, monsters of machines. So, so these extra pots, uh, they would also be uh, autonomous. They would be able to act independently. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Same, same yeah. as here. Uh, each operator can have its own uh, access system and to work then uh, independently. Is it a single lane system, or could you split it into two twin lane? This is single lane. This yeah. is single lane. Everything is really in line and uh, goes through the machine and can go back underneath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or even over it. <laughs> oh, I see. So, so you have a you have yeah. a return path underneath. Yeah, the, there the, is a the let's say there is a hole through the whole machinery. We can go back with a return conveyor, even with a cooling tunnel, mm -hmm. to uh, bring temperatures down if the operators before this uh, for reassembly and touch up can uh, don't mm -hmm. burn the fingers. So. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I yeah. mean, Seho's got quite a reputation for for. Uh, material handling and factory automation as well. How much of that has been growing in your business recently? Oh, there's many machines that are connected to a handling system, not only the box that makes the solder job mm -hmm. uh, and something falls out at the end, so yeah. we have to take it over into a handling system to bring it back to the operators to do something else with it. Mm -hmm. um, cooling, stacking, deciding something, a good result, bad result, uh, push it out or go on to the next uh, mm -hmm. process step. Uh, we are really open to build up also crazy things right. <laughs> in handling. Okay. Now, the yeah. other thing I noticed that you have on your booth is a, mm -hmm. a power vision system, uh, which is, is using basically uh, under th through hole AOI. Right. Uh, that's a new area for you. What, what made you go in uh, to do this? Oh yeah, we did. We have been doing this for several years now. But uh, getting the AOI functionality into a separate box or even into a machine instead of a solder pot that pimps up the machine value, but we also can put it into a separate unit together with assembly control on the top level and on bottom level maybe the AOI um, solder result check by searching solder balls by looking for uh, fulfillment of meniscus all around and mm -hmm. the presence of the wire or not um, right even the loss of SMDs can be can be found so uh, all the things that is typical for for AOI in THD business we can see mm -hmm. the only thing is white eagles on white ground that's what we don't see right interesting <laughs> uh, well, I mean, but, but yeah. um, so is it a 2D system or is it? It's a 2D, 2D system and yes. uh -huh. um, this is typically sufficient for, mm -hmm. for the AOI for of THT solar joints. Right, okay, excellent. Okay, What else have you got? Anything else that's new? Uh, there is one, let's say, a car moving around magazines that can come from an uh, assembly workplace, not abroad but far away maybe in the, uh, in the working hall uh, and bring this to a loader and unloader system to feed a machine and to take the solar Oh, okay. Box so back to this workplace, um, guided but, by stickers on the ground or whatever. No, so it's an AGV. Yeah. So uh, you've mm -hmm. got an AGV over at the, the yeah. other end of the booth. I see that one. Right. Uh, so these are becoming much more popular in in factories now. Yeah. Uh, and it sure. just reacts. So if you put the foot in front of it, it really it's, stops. It stops. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they're getting yeah. more intelligent every yeah. day. These machines. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's our business. All the electronics. Mm -hmm. There is brains in everything, mm -hmm. and they take over our brains. 
in machinery, well, and that's our business to yeah. solder all these electronics. So yeah. I'm sure we will have to have to do something in the next decades. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I tell you. Anyway, great yeah. to catch up, Ronnie. Great to yeah. see everything that's new here on on Seho, and uh, uh, we wish you every success with this new system uh, going forward. Thank you, Trevor.